three. The Happy Lion by Louise Batio, pictured by Roger Dubuisson. There was once a very happy lion. Her home was not the hot and dangerous plains of Africa, where hunters lie in wait with their guns. It was a lovely French town with brown tile roofs and gray shutters. The happy lion had a house in the town zoo, all for herself, with a large rock garden, surrounded by a moat, in the middle of the park with flower beds and a bandstand. <laughs> Early every morning, Francine, the keeper's daughter, stopped on her way to school to say, Was happy lion? Afternoons, Monsieur Dupont, the schoolmaster, stopped on his way home to say, For your happy lion. <laughs> Evenings, Madame Pinson, who knitted all day on the bench by the bandstand, never without saying, Oh, happy lion. <laughs> On summer Sundays, the town band filed into the bandstand to play waltzes and polkas. And the happy lion closed her eyes to listen. She loved music. Everyone was her friend and came to say, Bonjour! And offer meat and other tidbits. She was a happy lion. One morning, the happy lion found that her keeper had forgotten to close the doors of the house. Hmm. Mm, I don't like that. Anyone may walk in. Oh, well, maybe I will walk out myself and see my friends in town. It will be nice to return their visits. So the happy lion walked out into the park and said, Bonjour, my friends. Bonjour, my friends. To the busy sparrows. Bonjour, happy lion. Answered the busy sparrow. Bonjour, my friend. She said to the quick red squirrel who sat on her tail and bit into a walnut. Bonjour, happy lion. Said the quick red squirrel, hardly looking up. Then the happy lion went into the cobblestone street where she met Monsieur Dupont just around the corner. Bonjour, she said, nodding in her polite lion way. <gasps> Answered Monsieur Dupont and fainted on the sidewalk. What, what a, a silly way to say bonjour, said the happy lion and patted Shoot. along on her big soft paws. Then she saw three ladies who said, down the street when she saw three ladies she had known at the zoo. Ah! Ah! Cried the three ladies and ran away as if an ogre were after them. I can't think. What makes them do that? They were always so polite at the zoo. Madame. The happy lion nodded again when she caught up with Madame Pinson near the grocery store. <laughs>
Then she got up and went on a stroll in search of a friend who would not faint or scream or run away. But the only people she saw were pointing at her excitedly from the highest windows and balconies. Now what was that new noise the lion heard? She swished her tail with joy, and Francine remained always her dearest 